Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you this week. As you seen a couple weeks ago, I got the new 2022 model Triton trailer. Man, I couldn't be more happy uh, with this thing. It's just a super nice trailer and it's got all the nice features and, and all that. But there was one thing that I'd always wanted to try uh, whenever I got a new trailer. I always said years ago that I wanted to try this product and that is the composite uh, bunk boards. And you know, you guys have all used the uh, carpeted bunks like I have and you know over the course of time you know you're gonna have to replace them because they do get waterlogged the carpet does come off of them you know the staples pull out sometimes they rust and you know it's uh it's just not a very good solution to use for a, a bunk board because they, they do rot out and you know ever like I said every few years you got to replace these and replace the carpet and it is pretty costly so I, I figured, you know, since I got the trailer that I wanted, I figured why not just go ahead and get the uh, bunks to go with it. And also, not only will you never have to replace these new bunks, but they're a lot smoother than this carpet here. So when you unload and load, uh, whether it be your jet ski, your boat, or your kayaks, or whatever, it slides on and off a lot easier. So you don't have to fight with it. Because, you know, sometimes when you put it up on this carpet, you know it is uh, got a little bit more resistance than you know one of these uh, composite bunks where it's really slick so these uh bunks are really amazing just simply because uh, they're made out of a high density polyethylene uh, plastic and so uh, they're super slick they're super hard you know they're not going to get waterlogged you don't have to worry about you know replacing the carpet on them and you know the they've got several different kinds they have uh, this premium kind here and the premium kind uh, has this piece of aluminum on the bottom and what this piece of aluminum does is it allows you to take a carriage bolt slide it into this track just like that and then you you've got your two bolts right there and you flip it over and if you look right here here is your your bracket on the uh, Triton trailers and the whole distance between uh, the, the two openings right there is two inches. So you know, if you've got a bracket that's two inches or close to it where you could waller it out some if it needs to be uh, opened up a little bit, then what you do is you just slide those two carriage bolts down in there and you do the same up here at the front. And then what that allows you to do is it allows you to adjust the length of the box if you want to. And for me, since I'm hauling kayaks, you know, um, I might be hauling a, a 10 foot or 12 foot or even something longer. And if I want to adjust these out and have them sticking out further or closer to the front, I can because these just slide on this track. So it makes it really easy to set this up. So, you know, I just think that, you know, if you want something that has a little bit of adjustment to it, that's the way to go. So like I said, there's two different types of boards. These are the Supremes because they have that aluminum track on the bottom and they're a lot more rigid than the originals. The original ones does not have the track up underneath. And these come in like a two by four or a two by six. These that I have here are a two by six. And uh, the reason that I went with the uh, Supremes is because one, they've got that that bracket so they're going to be a lot stronger and also uh, you can go a lot further span without there being a support in there if you have the ones with the the metal brackets the supreme models uh, with the ones with the originals uh, you can't go as long of a span you have to check their website for how far it is and all that for all the details but you know check it out I'll put their uh, link to their website down in the description but uh, for this video, I'm just going to be showing you the the uh, Supreme and how you mount them up. Uh, now, first things first, when you in install these, uh, what you want to do is just go ahead and slide your two bolts in there and go ahead and line it up. Now, I will say that these are these are heavy duty boards. They're not flimsy at all. And if you look up underneath, I'm going to flip this over. 
you can see right here I'm just gonna move this bolt down until it fits into that bracket then you can see right there I've got a bolt sticking through on this side a bolt sticking through on this side so now we want to go to the next step the next that's really important that I didn't see this in the directions anywhere but I've worked with stainless steel enough through the years that I know better uh, if you're gonna work with any kind of stainless hardware get you some anti-seize lubricant and put it on the threads of the bolts you'll thank me for this if you have to remove them at a later date because stainless steel is very brittle and hard and if, if you uh, take the bolts on and off very much or if they've been on there for a long time sometimes it's hard for them to come off and it, the bolts basically can gall up and become you know just hard to get off so if you just put you a little bit of this on the threads before you put the uh, lock washers and the flat washers and the nuts on the threads and you ain't got to go crazy with it so after you put your anti-seize on your bolt threads then you want to take your flat washer your lock washer and your nut and go ahead and install them onto the threads And it's not rocket science, guys. Since it is a carriage bolt, you don't have to hold the other side. It's in that track, and it's held in place for you. So you just take and screw that nut on there. And you just repeat the steps for the, the rest of the uh, bolts. And one reason that I wanted to uh, have these bunks on here is with the Triton trailer and the uh, bracketry setup that they have on here where it has pretty much just infinite adjustment. Come here a little closer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see how I have it flat? Well, I have it loosened up. So if I wanted to bend the bunk in, then I can turn it in. Come around to this other side and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I don't have the bolts tightened up yet, but you can see um, that right here is the bracket for on the trailer. And this allows me to turn it any which way you want to going this way. And then also, if I wanted to turn the uh, trailer and have the bracket go inward, I can. Um, I just have to unloosen that. And you can see there's a, a track going on the trailer. So it's pretty cool that I can move it over this way. And then now, since I have these ultimate bunk boards, all I do is just loosen all the bracketry up and just take and slide the the two by six backwards or I can move it forwards to accommodate any size uh, kayak uh, any hole uh, design that you have you can uh, you can adjust these out to wherever you want them and like I said you know the uh, the bunks that come on this trailer were only six foot well I opted to go ahead and get some nine foot bunks and the reason that I wanted a longer bunk is because sometimes I haul a long uh, kayak. Some of the kayaks I, I haul are over 14 foot long because you know you have, might have a motor sticking out the back. And so that's the reason why I wanted a longer bunk is so um, when you back it down into water, the bunks are further down into the water than the trailer. So you don't have to put the trailer in the water so far. And uh, I think it's gonna turn out nice. Uh, also, I uh, went ahead and went with the two by sixes instead of the two by four bunks. Uh, just simply because on the kayak that I have, uh, they're a pontoon style and they're kind of uh, flat in the very middle. And then it's, like I said, it's got a pontoon on each side. And so uh, this just works out and gives me a little bit more surface area to let the kayak uh, rest on. And so I just figured this would be the best option for me. And hey, down the road, if I get another kayak, and I want to uh, adjust the bunks to fit its hole, you can. You just turn it in and move it in, and you know, it's very easy to set it up. All right, guys, so we're out here at the boat ramp, and I've got the trailer back down in the water. As you can see, the water's way down. I'm already to my knees, and the trailer sits pretty low as it is, and so one way that I, I put my trailer in the water is I just take a dog leash. This is one of the tug dog leashes off of Amazon, and I just take a regular leash, wrap it around, handle and then 
Uh, I've got it on the ultimate bunk boards down there, and so watch how slick they are when I push it off. And you see right there, works perfect. You don't have to get out in the water, don't have to deal with a rope, and then it retracts and pulls the kayak right up to you. That simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my group Fishing Kayak Mods on Facebook and my other group Kayak Trailer Mods. And I'll show you guys all my little tips and tricks to help you out and make it easier for you at the loading dock and while you're out fishing.